Hi there, it's Paulina here at Denami Design, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a card from start to finish. For our base, we're using our brown craft cardstock. It comes in a five and a half by eight and a half size card, and I'm folding it in half, and then I've um, rounded the top right corner and the bottom right corners just to warm up the card a little bit. So I'm going to set our card base aside. And we're going to be stamping on this two and a quarter inch by five and a half inch white piece of cardstock. And then I've ink distressed the edges just to warm up the card um, just a little bit more. And I'm just laying down this piece of cardstock just so I can um, stamp and it won't get on my background. So I'm going to be using the Vintage Sepia VersaFine ink. Um, this is my favorite brown ink. And it's great for um, stamping on just regular cards and um, it dries really quickly. So I'm just going to create a pattern on this white piece of cardstock. And as you can see, I'm doing some off to the side and then some centered. And this just creates kind of a, a background that doesn't look all uniform, and that's what I like about it. Or else all the scallops would look like it's in the same place and it's not my favorite look, so I like to do some of them off to this side. And I'm just going to stamp the other part of the scallop. Okay, so there's our first panel. And then next I'm going to grab my chocolate brown card stock. And this is the 2 and an eighth by 5 and a half. And so it just frames this white piece of card stock. And I'm going to adhere these two together. You want to make sure you get lots of adhesive on there so the panels don't come undone. Okay, and then next I'm going to adhere it onto our brown craft cardstock. So we're just going to go across the whole thing and I'm going to do it off to the left. Okay, so there is our card base. We're going to set that aside and now I'm going to go to the focal point. This is um, a Spellbinder die. It's just a plain oval and as you can see I've ink distressed it and then added some paper pierced elements along the edges. I'm going to be stamping the G123 pedestal which was from the Mimi's Boutique collection. I'm going to use the same vintage sepia ink on this one. I'm just going to stamp it at the bottom and okay and then I'm going to use the new E143 birdcage, and we're going to stamp that on just an extra piece of white cardstock here. Okay, so I'm going to set this one aside, and then we're going to use the A98 single Tweety Bird. And we're just going to stamp that right inside of the birdcage here. I'm going to add a little bit of um, blue coloring to the birdcage, just to add a little bit more color to the card. So I just have this really light blue, it's kind of like an aqua color. I'm just going to add that to the bird cage at the top. And I'm just leaving the little Tweety Bird uncolored at the moment. You can color it in if you'd like, I'm just going to leave it like this for this card. So I'm just going to cut along the edge of the bird cage here. Okay. And then next we're going to grab this pedestal panel again. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit of color to this. So I'm just going to do it along the edges. I'm just doing like a tan kind of color. It's just going to add again a little bit more color. Okay. Okay, and then next I'm going to grab some foam mounting tape. And we're going to go to the back of the bird cage. I'm just going to put that right on top here. Okay, and then from here we're going to adhere it to our scallop oval, which is also by Spellbinders, and I'm just going to adhere these two together. Just make sure it's nice and centered. Okay. And then now I'm going to just add a little fun element to it. I'm going to use this little heart, which is the A91 Teeny Heart. 
And I'm gonna use the Majestic Blue VersaFine for this one. And I'm gonna just stamp the heart three times on either side and you can see that I'm rotating the heart to make it look like it's falling. So it just adds a little more color to the card and just kind of makes it look like a little leopard. Okay, now we're gonna grab our card base again and we're gonna adhere it together. So I'm gonna use some foam mounting tape and that's just gonna add a little bit more dimension once again. I like a lot of dimension on my cards. So I'm just gonna put it on all the edges and then one in the middle. And I'm doing it just off to the side, just a tiny bit here. You can see there. And then make sure you adhere it nice and well. And then next I'm going to add a little ribbon here. It's a 3 8 grow grain. I'm going to use the ATG again and I'm just adhering the bow right to the adhesive and then I'm just going to pull up. And that's going to just have a little bit of adhesive to the back of the ribbon and then I can just stick it right onto the pedestal. Um, you can add the ribbon towards the top and I'm going to do it actually towards the bottom. And with this color combination, with the brown and the craft and the brown, you can add any kind of ribbon just for that little extra pop of color. Um, I can see you maybe using the emerald, or you can use the new purple, or you can even use the navy that we just released. So here is that. And then for the last element, I'm going to add just a little bit more bling to the card. So I'm going to use the bronze rhinestones. I'm going to use the biggest size there is, and we're going to adhere it to the corner and I'm going to do it to the top corner also okay and then we're going to use the second size so it's like the middle size and I'm going to go on either side of the large rhinestone just adds a little fun element to it and adds just a little bit more um, contrast to the card and also some bling to the bottom. Then you're just going to want to press down and make sure all the rhinestones are nice they put down. And then we're going to just fluff up the bow one last time. These like fluffy bows. Okay, so there is our finished card. It took less than seven minutes and um, it's really cute. It's great for weddings. You use it for Valentine's Day. You can use it for a thinking of you card. Um, we have some fun elements um, that can go inside. We have a sentiment that says, a little birdie told me, and then you can write, it's your birthday or something like that. Or we also have a stamp that says, just checking up on you. And then of course you can use like regular thinking of you sentiments. So it's just a really fun card for all kinds of occasions. Um, I just love the navy and the hot pink together. It's just a great color combination. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time. Have a great day.